Hey, um, Jared, first of all, just uh, kind of wondering when you're when you're in the the room and you guys are uh, going over that at left tackle. How, how's he doing? I mean, it's a day-to-day -day process for any any rookie, any guy coming in, you know, learn a new system. Um, it's a day-to-day -day pra practice, you know, he's been working hard and the entire group's been working hard to get better every day um, with uh, the new leadership from Coach Callahan. And, um, you know, I'm excited to see you guys, uh, you know, obviously you see why he was picked early and uh, he's definitely got um, a lot of opportunities and a lot of talent and it'll be fun to see him uh, progress as camp goes on. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Kay. We'll go to Scott Petrick next. Hey, Jack, I, I got the same question about um, Nick Harris in the middle and the fact that you, right now you have two rookies in that starting five, how difficult does that make it? Um, you know, surprisingly, it's definitely a challenge, but surprisingly, you know, coming in with a new offense, we're all learning, you know, so that's definitely, it's not like it's a, an offense that's been, you know, here for a long time and the older guys already know all the, all the little cues and stuff. So we're all learning together. So I think that's made the, the progress uh, smoother and, uh, I think everybody's taking it every day and trying to get a little bit better. And, uh, you know, both those guys are doing a great job. And how would you describe the transition to this wide zone scheme? I know you've only been pads two days, but do you feel like it's on pace? You guys kind of playing catch up, not having the off season? Um, you know, anytime you come into camp, you know, first day of pads, you know, everybody's excited. And, uh, you know, you, you really see a difference second day when guys starting to settle down and uh, really key in and start figuring things out. Um, you know, coming from a wide zone offense for me, uh, I'd say the transition, you know, wasn't as hard as some of the other guys, but, uh, you know, it's, it's fun. I love the wide zone. I love the opportunities it, le it leads to in the, in the run game and the pass game. And um, I think we're having a lot of fun here with it. Thanks. Tom Withers, we'll go to you. Hey, Jack, were you able to, to develop some chemistry uh, despite it being a virtual offseason? I know you guys had a lot of Zoom meetings and got to know each other that way. And then now that you are all together, do you feel like, that allowed you guys to, to build off of that? And, and is this team coming together with all the new faces? Yeah, definitely. You know, it was definitely a new challenge, you know, having it start off with the Zoom. But, uh, you know, it, it, it actually led us to have a lot more chances to just install, go over stuff over and over again. You know, it wasn't, wasn't the physical reps, but those mental reps are huge. And be able to go, be able to go over the offense three, four times, um, start top to bottom, you know, that definitely helped a lot. And, uh, you know, especially with the offensive line, you know, we're all, you know, no matter where, what team you came from or, or, um, we're all pretty similar guys, and you can really see that starting to click. And just the communication, uh, everybody's been on top of it, just uh, willing to help each other, and, and it's been very impressive. And I know the verbiage is a little bit different, but how different is how different is this offense, Jack, from what you've had in the past? And with all these weapons, I mean, what do you think the potential could be for this group? Um, you know, it's it's pretty darn close to similar to the, to the offense I ran last year. You know, a few different terms here and there, but. Uh, no, you know, just from seeing the opportunities that we had last year in Tennessee and seeing, you know, with, with the roster we had compared to the roster here, I mean, we've got so many threats here and it's going to it's gonna be exciting. I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities for, for big plays and, and, and having a lot of fun with, with using the wide zone. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Daryl Ryder. Hey, Jack, going against that defensive front that you guys have to face in practice every day, you got Olivier, Sheldon, uh, I know Larry was out yesterday, but, you know, he's a force to be reckoned with. How much better are those guys making you as a unit up front right now? Oh, that's huge. When you have those guys to go against every day, um, that just helps you get ready, at, you know, for, for the Sundays. Um, those guys are such good players. Um, you feel like going in and out and just get those reps, those physical reps against those guys every day. You're going to you learn so much, and it just leads to so many opportunities to get you ready for, for the, the real days, the real game days. And, um, you know, it's just great to have, that, have those guys in the roster to, to really help us uh, build up and get ready for the season. Let's go to Dan Lobby. Hey, Jack, you, you kind of mentioned Bill Callahan in passing earlier. What, what's it like having him as your, your position coach? What's he like? No, it's great. You know, just, just the amount of information he has from all, from all the years of uh, being an offensive line coach. Um, you know, he's seen just about any look or any front uh, you, you, could, you could ask for and uh, be able to have that knowledge, be able to just bounce questions off of him. Um, you know, he always has an answer. He's seen it and he already knows how to fix it. And, you know, that's going to be an awesome, uh, awesome thing for us to have throughout the year, just be able to have him and have his knowledge of, you know, so, so many games and so many different players uh, throughout his career. Thanks. Jeff Shadell, your line's open. The... Um... Not so much the verbiage and on 
field, but what is the most difficult part of, of changing teams as far as maybe getting a new, you know, just changing your, where you live and everything else? Um, I would say, you know, especially this year, you know, with COVID going on, it was definitely weird uh, moving up here and, and really be, the weirdest part is my first day, you know, coming to the building was the first day of camp, you know, I'd only seen guys on Zoom and then I'm meeting guys with, with masks on. It, it definitely uh, was a, a curveball there trying to learn names when you, you're only seeing half of somebody's face. But, uh, you know, it's nice once you get on the field. You know, you can start putting the numbers together with the names and everything, and, and that definitely opens it up. But, uh, you know, it was definitely a weird change. But, you know, the nice part for, I would say, for me is it was a new staff too, you know. So it's a, it's a whole bunch of people coming together, learning new names, and learning new stuff. So that definitely made the transition uh, quite a bit easier. In it, Golden? Jack, I believe I, I heard you mention that you've worked with LaCharles Bentley before. Is that accurate? Yes. Uh, what has working with him done for you as a player in your game overall? Um, it's been huge. You know, just having that offseason um, capability of working out with a place that just specializes on offensive line play. You know, there aren't many places that do that. You see all the different places that are, you know, working routes and skill stuff, and there just aren't many – people that are that are looking at doing just old line stuff you know everything from the lifting uh, process is all based on things that situations we're going to, have to be in you know strengthening certain parts of you know whether you're going to, have to be sitting down on bull rush and different stuff just trying to get the power back and, and being able to just uh, work on my craft you know all season and uh, with uh, somebody who, who knows everything about it it's definitely been a huge help and uh, it's definitely helps with just focusing in and uh, keeping this going all throughout the whole year thank you Nate Ulrich Hey, Jack, good to see you. I was wonder, wondering, um, as a right tackle, how important is chemistry with the right guard in your mind? And then how's that going with Wyatt Teller? What do you think of him as a player? And uh, and what have you learned about him as a guy? You know, it's huge. You know, we're, we're right next to each other in every play, and we got to have uh, the biggest thing is great communication. And, um, you know, Wyatt's a guy who, you know, he talks a lot, so it makes it nice. And, uh it's nice to be able to learn on the fly. And uh, we're really, you know, after every play, we come back and into the huddle and even have just a few things that we can talk about. And, you know, he's been really open to that stuff. He's a guy who wants to learn, who, who is learning a lot. And, uh, you know, I'm excited with how I've seen him every day getting a little bit better and, uh, you know, even helping me out with stuff. And it's been a lot of fun. And uh, I'm excited to see what we can do this year. Go to Scott Petrick. Hey, Jack, have you seen Baker get frustrated at all as he tries to kind of master this new scheme? Um, I wouldn't say, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't see a whole lot. I'm, I'm in front of him, so <laughs> blocking, but, uh, you know, Baker's a competitive guy. You know, he's a guy that wants to do stuff the right way and everything I can see from him. Um, just talking to him, he, he seems like he's a guy who he wants to win. He wants to learn. He wants to do everything the right way. Um, and I think he, you know, like I said, I'm really watching you know, my O line play and not as much what the quarterback's doing, but, um, um, from what I can tell from talking to him, he, you know, he's, he's excited about the offense, and uh, I think he's going to have a lot of opportunities to, to do a great job. I know what Tom asked you about building chemistry. How has Baker kind of helped develop that and gotten to know you guys, the new guys up front? You know, it's been good. You know, uh, throughout the offseason, um, you know, just texting, you know, talking, uh, just trying to get to know each other. You know, obviously with COVID and everything, it was definitely harder to, to get to know the guys, but he, he was definitely, uh, definitely talking to me a lot. We definitely talked a lot, and uh, we're able to – to get to know each other and uh, every day, you know, we spend some time talking and, you know, whether it's just about scheme or, or just personal life, just getting to know each other better. And, you know, he's definitely been on top of that. Tom Weathers, you're up. That's just where I wanted to go, Jack. Um, what are your impressions of Baker from the one that you didn't know to the guy that you've met? Um, you know, I, for, I'm not a big guy who looks at the outside parts. But, so, you know, coming into this year, you know, I, I just knew him as, you know, as a winner from college, you know, obviously a Heisman Trophy winner and a, and a guy that's, uh, you know, a young guy on a team that's had a lot of coaching changes. So, you know, getting here and, and seeing him and, and just seeing the way he, you know, he loves the game and how he goes, goes about every day working hard, is, it's been impressive to see. And um, there's no doubt in my mind that he can flourish in the system. And I know, you know, injuries are part of the game, but how, and you guys have already had a couple in camp. How tough is it when you see a guy get taken off on a cart? And then is that you know, just a reminder of how, you know, fragile this game can be at times? Definitely, you know, and I, I've been on that side of that, that too. So, um, you know, it's always a bummer to see a guy go down, but, um, 
you know, you always hope it's something minor. And uh, when we get guys to fill in, everybody's got to take their opportunity. And, and, you know, that's really when teams start to build depth. You know, when, when little stuff like that happens, you get younger guys that are thrown in there and they have to step up and learn more. And, uh, you know, once guys end up coming back, that just leads to a better team, more guys that know what to do and more guys that are ready to fill in and can play at any time. We have two hands up. These will be our last two. We'll go to Fred Greetham and then Tony Grossi. Fred? Hey, Jack. Uh, can you talk about the blind sign theory that usually they always talk about the importance of protecting the lefts, you know, the quarterback's blind side, you know, as, as being a right tackle and the importance of that as well. Um, you know, the blind side, I think, obviously, you know, the quarterback, you get a right-handed quarterback, you can't see what's going on over there. So there's obviously the importance of having a, a great left tackle. But uh, in this day and age when um, they just start putting, you know, when the right tackle is known as just a run blocker, people started figuring out, hey, let's put our best rusher on the right side, you know, and uh, I think that's sort of become the theory is that both tackles have to be, you know, equally good at each each aspect of the game and the run in the pass. Because, um, you know, you get teams, and obviously you see Denver is a great example of Von Miller almost exclusively lining up on the right tackle. Um, so it, it's definitely uh, changed the game a little bit. Um, I think that uh, it's, it's made the importance of uh, having a great pass blocking right tackle as well as a run blocker. Um, such an important aspect of this game. And uh, it's, it's been fun, you know, learning for me, just getting better and better every year. And it's, I'm going to have an op awesome opportunity here with Coach Callahan to learn more and more stuff I can put into my game. I'll finish up with Tony Grossi. Hey, Jack, with the, the Titans last year, and I was wondering in their final game with Derrick Henry battling Nick Chubb from a distance for the rushing lead, was there any conversation during the buildup to that week? I know you guys were enmeshed in a playoff run, but how important was it? Uh, for him to go over the top, he had a huge game, which means you guys had a huge game. Uh, yeah, it was definitely a, a huge topic. You know, we we really wanted to get Derek that title, and uh, it was something we talked about all week. You know, it, you know, being uh, such high level competitors we are, you know, I, we want to help, we we want to win, and you know, for us to get Derek that to win him that title was huge, and it was it was a focal point even till the end of the game. I think we was wow. he was about forty yards off, and we we're like, all right, let's. He wanted to stay in. We were up and. Luckily, uh, Coach Rabel let us keep him in there for, I think he had, we had like four plays left he could stay in. And we were able to break one off for him. And, uh, you know, it was, it was, you know, but definitely, it was definitely a focal point. You know, obviously he had to win the game to get in the playoffs to begin with. But uh, um, that was definitely huge for our, us as an offensive line, something we talked about even on the sideline. Yeah, how would you like to avenge him now with Chubb this year? Oh, it'd be awesome. You know, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's not, you know, even, even with uh, Nick and Kareem, it's not often you have two guys that are, are that good uh, on one team, it's going, to, it's going to be a whole lot of fun, and I'm excited to see uh, just how good these guys' vision are, vision is with this wide zone offense and the opportunities they're going to have to have some some big games.